Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm your host D-Day bringing you more Let's Play All the Mods 7. And today what we're going to be working on is going to be mining gadgets. We're going to build the mining gadget MK3. We're going to build a whole bunch of upgrades and of course the modification table that we need to put the upgrades into the gun in the first place. Be forewarned though, this intro is being recorded after I have completed everything. Uh, since I didn't have an intro for this part, and for some weird reason, the screen freezes when I shift right click the gun to do the settings. So I will try my best to explain my settings on a frozen picture. <laughs> Let's grab our Aldemodium ore. Whoop, got turned around. Let's break these guys apart. Oop. We got 12 more. We got more being cast out. Drop this guy back off. All right, we have 19. We have 20 all the modium ingots. Let's go ahead and jump into mining gadgets. Uh, we need, okay, we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these blank upgrade modules. So we need 14 of the nuggets. There we go. Oh, I guess I could have grabbed the nuggets from here as well. The ones that we got by bartering with the piglins. Uh, what else do we need? We need a bunch of iron, redstone, diamonds, lapis, and glass panes. Glass panes. We need a bunch of... Let's go... 14. We need diamonds. We need lapis. We need redstone. All right, let's make some blocks. Lost pains. That's probably too many. Whoops. So we need, what was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven at the minimum. Three. What are we missing? The blocks. All right, we just need to make more blocks. All right. Good thing we have enough lapis. Or do we? Let's see. All right. Recipe R. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. We need the mining gadget, so we need more iron and we need more gold. Gold. And crafting table, mining laser, modification table. And I believe because we have wireless now, we can just put this guy anywhere. Let's put it on top of the anvil. Silly looking. Oh yeah, this one doesn't require power. This is for putting upgrades into the mining gadget. So let's go ahead and switch out the jetpack with the mining... What? Yeah, there we go. The mining gadget. We'll let this guy charge while we make the upgrades for it. Diamond jetpack is at 7 mil. Okay. So the upgrades that I want to make for this guy are going to be the efficiency upgrades. That'll make it faster. Oh, we need a lot of redstone. A lot of redstone for this. Okay. Let's see. 3x3 three three is important. We'll make a diamond pick. Block a diamond. Two. Look at all of the ender pearls that we got from piglin bartering. Two of these guys. A diamond pick. Four redstone blocks. Ouch. Expensive. So one of these dudes... We need two sticks. There we go. We got three by three. That's important. We can use the magnet upgrade. Yeah. Break down some redstone. Let's see. I know I picked up. Yep. Redstone ore. I think I have some. Oh, yeah. I got a lot in here. Cool. 
redstone. There we go. And magnet. 3x3 three three and magnet. Fortune is going to be important. Battery will make us... That's Battery, I would say, is not that important. Fortune, I would say, is... We need a lot of lapis. Okay, let's see. I grabbed all of the lapis, right? And I have lapis in my inventory. That is all of the lapis I have, though. Okay. Fortune. We're gonna need iron blocks. Let's grab a stack. I believe we needed one more. Let's do this. Fortune tier one. Tier two needs two gold. Tier two. Six of these dudes. Good. Six and fortune tier three. Cool. I would say the efficiency is more important than the battery. Battery is gold and quartz, though we should have enough for that. Iron and quartz. We, we, yeah, we can make this. We just need to grab all our quartz. Let's see, where do I hide my quartz? Here we go. Drop off the stick. Turn one of these dudes. Are they by fours? Yeah. Block of quartz. Battery one. Battery two. Battery three. Okay, so that wasn't as hard as I thought. And now efficiency. This guy is expensive. Efficiency 1, Efficiency 2, we're feeling we need blocks, yep, we need blocks, 1, 2, 3, Efficiency 3, yep, we're out of blocks, is that all of our, no, we still have redstone, we have a good amount of redstone. Two of these dudes. Let's drop off our glass panes. We no longer need quartz. Diamonds, lapis. Oh, I have one more piece of lapis. Okay, let's do this the easy way. Really? You're not going to let me do that? Thank goodness for Vein Miner. All right. That should be enough. Four. And five. That's all of our upgrades. Awesome. So let's check and see where our laser is at. It's already full with one million. Alright, so now we need to upgrade this guy. We're going to put in three by three. The battery to ten mil. Magnet. Fortune. Efficiency. There we go. That's all of our upgrades. And now let's charge this bad boy up. And block. Wand. This guy, I guess we could put the modification table somewhere that looks better than that. Put it here.
1.6 million. I have a feeling it's going to run out of juice really fast. I'm hoping that the, the, the mining gadget won't care that it's deep slate. Because there's, there's nothing worse than that deep slate being added and needing to mine through that. One point six. This is gonna take a while, so let's go test it out. Okay, let's see. Mining portal, mining. Huh. So we have the upgrades in. How do we turn them on again? There we go. So shift, right click, size three by three. Range five is fine. Oh yeah, edit visuals. I totally forgot about this. Shrink blocks, fade blocks. The efficiency is better than walk speed. It's faster than the, uh, the hammer. No all the modium yet. And I did change the laser light. I like the, the color scheme. All the modium is so rare. Worse than netherite. You think that's what it is? I think... Oh, there we go. The, uh, the charm should have the same range as uh, drinking the potion directly. I don't think it would have less range. It takes three potions to uh, make the charm. There we go. Let's see. Netherite. Oh, it won't let me mine it with the mining laser. Nah. <laughs> cool. So we do, we definitely have to make the manual and pick. Boop. Let's see what we got. 10 pieces, so we can double that to 20. We got some Bort. And our stack upgrades are... Yep, cobbled, deep slate, deep slate. Four grand. Getting it out of the backpack is going to be a pain. Not going to pass up this gold. There we go. But yeah, the mining laser is definitely about a lot better than the hammer. We could use the Silk Touch upgrade as well. All right. Mining, remove, new. Mining, all the modium. Off, home. There we go. All the modium. Hammer time. 20. Thirty eight pieces of all the modium. Should we condense the redstone? Oh, let's put the laser back in. Oh, wow, we drained this guy bad. 
All right, so let's go ahead and also try to make the other upgrades. I went ahead and I changed my mind since I was looking at these mining gadgets upgrades. Uh, and it shows how much extra RF every block will cost with the upgrades in them. So I was reading this, the upgrade 3x3, it doesn't show any additional cost. So it probably multiplies everything by 9 since you're doing 9 blocks now instead of 1. Uh, the battery boosts, so it's a solid uh, upgrade uh, by 10 million. The upgrade magnet, it says upgrade costs 25. So I'm assuming that means 25 extra RF per block since it's getting teleported into your inventory instead of falling onto the ground. Uh, the fortune upgrade is 100. So I'm pretty sure that means an extra 100 RF per block that's fortuned. And uh, the efficiency, of course, uh, extra 50 RF a, a block for every uh, for every block, yeah because it makes it, the efficiency upgrade makes it mine the blocks faster. So I was looking at the other ones, uh, uh, upgrading the Silk Touch, since uh, that was one of the things that we did uh, at the very beginning so that we could Silk Touch our ore and run it through the uh, integrated dynamics to uh, do the ore times 24. So we could put this guy in there and then deactivate the fortune. They're both 100. Since we can't use fortune on uh, the all the modium ore, we we found that out just now. That uh, we're still gonna have to use our pick to mine up the all the modium even when we find it. So we might as well switch it to silk touch. Uh, I did notice this the upgrade range. We'll make it so that the laser shoots further. And I noticed that it does not have an additional uh, RF per block attached to it. So it's a solid upgrade. We'll do that. The upgrade freezing, what it does is it's 100 FE or RF per use. So it's not per block because it's a different uh, descriptor for this one. So what the freezing does is if you're going and you're mining uh, and you hit lava, I'm pretty sure this doesn't work in the nether by the way, but if you're mining in the overworld and you hit lava, it will immediately turn the lava into obsidian. Uh, and since it says 100 FE per use, I'm pretty sure this will only cost RF when it actually activates. So when it freezes a lava block, turns it into obsidian, that's when it costs RF. So it's pretty much a free upgrade to have inside the gun whenever you're not doing that. I wanted to look up uh, the upgrade void junk. It's only an extra 10 RF per block, but we can get rid of all of this ridiculous amount of deep slate that we're getting. I think we're at, let's see... Yeah, we're, at, we're over 4,000 blocks of deep slate. We're over 13,000 blocks of cobbled deep slate. It's kind of ridiculous. So maybe I'll look up the void upgrade and we can void those two blocks. Uh, and then the upgrade light placer, it also says plus 100 FE per use. So it places a torch whenever the surrounding light level is lower than eight. So it'll put down torches, light up the area. Uh, I might as well make this one since it's not going to be that big of a, uh, a a chunk of our gun's RF. Uh, I've ignored it because uh, we have night vision goggles and light levels aren't an issue. But I wanted to show you guys this since uh, uh, you may or may not get night vision goggles. And this will automatically place torches down so you don't have to worry about mob spawning. So we'll go ahead and make that. The recipes are all pretty easy. We need one, two, three, four, five more of these blank module upgrades so we need 10 more all the modium nuggets let's see yep we got our 10 nuggets we're going to need diamonds redstone lapis and panes of glass which i made way too many of all right where's my lapis and where's my diamonds i think i put them all in here lapis diamonds redstone let's turn these guys into blocks like so. Alright, that's three. We need one more, right? One, two, three, four, five. Five. Did I do my math wrong again? Five of them, right? So that means we need ten all the modium nuggets. So we need two more. 
So we need, yeah, of course. I'm tripping. There we go. We'll grab lapis. Redstone. And this is in the way now. There we go. All right. That's our two. All right. We have our five uh, blank upgrade modules, which really is the most expensive part. We need glowstone, more glowstone, more glowstone and redstone. And we need iron nuggets and torches. I think I have torches on me. I do. Do I have extra iron nuggets? I'm probably going to have to split some of these dudes. Let's do four. There we go. We're only going to need two of these lanterns. Two. And we need a bunch of glowstone, which I moved a lot of my stuff into my backpack now that we have so many stack upgrades. All right. We need to turn these dudes back into blocks. 16 blocks. We'll grab some more glowstone, some more redstone. All right, glowstone. Redstone lamp. We only need one. And we're missing... No, actually, we need two. And there's our light placer upgrade. Cool. So we got that guy done. The void upgrade requires two obsidian, two ender pearls. Did I move the obsidian in here? Two obsidian. And all of my ender pearls are nicely stacked in here since they stack in 16s. Let's go void upgrade. There we go. Freezing upgrade is just snowball. It's perfect. That's cheap. Eight. Wonderful. All right, the upgrade range is going to require emeralds and it's going to require diamonds. Let's see, how many emeralds do I have? 61. I need to make an emerald site as well. I think we need one of these dudes. We need lapis and we need regular glass. So glass and we need lapis. All right, range one, range two, and we need a block of diamond. There we go. And range three. And our last upgrade is going to be the silk touch, which requires slime balls. Gold and a golden apple. Let's see, did I? I have not eaten a golden apple yet. I have found apples though, right? I do have apples and I haven't eaten an apple yet either. Oh, because it's in my inventory. There we go. We need gold. Ten pieces of gold. And what else did we need? We need one, two, three, four, five slime balls. I think I have those in here. Yeah. Three breaks up into... Yep. Eight. And golden apple. I need to make another one of these so that I can eat it as well. Silk touch. So before I forget, let's make another golden apple. Out of eight. Since we have the feeding upgrade inside of our backpack, right? There we go. Golden apple. Put this guy right here. Perfect. I still am um, running the not eaten yet foods through my backpack. Uh, we're running low. I still need to mix and match some better ones. All right, so I put the gun here already. That looks pretty cool, actually, like this. Let me go ahead and screenshot this. Legit. I like it. Oh, cool. When you shift, it shows you the upgrades that are currently in it. So let's do Silk Touch, Freezing, Light Placer, Void, Upgrade Range. All right, how do we access the Void block? Let's see. We're going to shift right click, edit filters. All right, silk touch enabled, it disables fortune, which I'm pretty sure disables the RF per tick as well. We have void junk enabled, edit filters. I wonder if this filter is uh, part of the void. 
upgrade. So yeah, cool. Yeah, the range now, it's upgraded to 20. Here we can click one by one, three by three. We can select how much range we want, but now it goes to 20. That's pretty awesome. Clicking the edit visuals. This is what messed up on my Twitch stream the other day for some weird reason. I changed this to shrink blocks uh, instead of fade blocks. And then I changed the beam color because I think the default is red and white. And I wanted to change it to my two favorite colors. So the inner beam is a lavender and the outer beam is a teal colored. That's why uh, the laser beam shoots a different color for me now. Let's see if I remove this filter upgrade, if the edit filter, uh, the void junk. Let's see if I remove the void junk. Void junk. Oop, I need to take the gun back. Yep, it gets rid of that. So this is part of the void junk. We'll put that back in. Let's grab the two blocks that I definitely want to avoid. The deep slate and the cobbled deep slate. We're going to shift right click. Edit filters. Yep. And we're going to get rid of deep slate and cobbled deep slate. Because they're just not no bueno right there. Put the this guy back. These guys go back in the corner. Let's drop this off. Block, block, block. And iron nugget. Redstone. And... Blowstone. Cool. So we have our filter. Freezing. We're not going to need it, but it's only going to activate in uh, if we hit lava. Light placer. Let's. I'm going to go ahead and disable this because it's a waste of RF since we have night vision. But if you don't have night vision, you can enable this and it'll place torches for you. Silk touch is better. Efficiency 5. Magnet. The range is hidden inside here and the void junk should work now so let's go ahead and teleport to our mining uh dimension all the mods mining let's see this gun how far can it shoot now that's a good range i do like that range and we have more diamonds so now we can steal these diamonds Deep Slate. See, it's showing up here. Deep Slate should be part of the void. Void. Whitelist. Blacklist. Deep Slate. I guess it's voiding it from being pulled into our, our inventory. now. it should be voiding. Or else this void upgrade is kind of pointless, right? Our gold. Edit filters. Couple deep slate and deep slate, and it's putting it into our inventory. Hum. Yeah, because whitelist means it will void this stuff. If I blacklist, it, it'll void everything but this stuff, which that doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Volume, precision mode, false. Not sure what this does. Let's try it out. Oh, neat. Precision mode. If you hold down the right click button, it will only let you take the one layer that you're shooting at. It won't fire through. So you can be a lot more stingy on your aura. Nice. I do like that. This void upgrade has to work, though. Let's try blacklist. See, it's still picking up osmium, and it's still picking up deep slate. Let's see. There's one thing that was kind of confusing. Blacklist, Deep Slate, and Cobble Deep Slate. What I was doing before was not getting me my diamonds, was it? So if I have a whitelist active, am I getting 
I don't get the nickel, right? It voided the nickel. Go ahead and turn the magnet off for a second. Okay, so we're going to try with a white list. We're going to try with a black list. We're going to blacklist the deep slate. Now we're going through the tough, right? Okay, so that's a little counterintuitive. It automatically has it set to whitelist. So you whitelist the things that you want. And I was thinking of blacklisting. So this has to be changed into a blacklist. And we're going to blacklist cobbled deep slate and deep slate. And we can also, now that we have this in our inventory, right? Let's go ahead and edit filters. We'll also get rid of this tough because nobody needs this. There is no use for this stuff, is there? No, it just counts as a, a goofy stone replacement. So let's see, that should get rid of the tough as well. Yep. Let's shoot a hole in the ground again. Let's get rid of our tough. All right, let's see. We had iron. We got iron, but we... Yep, we're not picking up any of the deep slate. Perfect. I do like that a lot. Let's make this a little fun, too. Let's grab our charm of all the modium. We'll turn it on for right now. Let's see if anything pops up to finish the episode with. We'll be able to just shoot this laser in a straight line. With any luck, we'll have it uh, pop up on our map real soon. Or gold. There we go. We've got some Aldemodium. Yep, and Silk Touch still doesn't work. I really love the color of this laser. Got some iron over here. Nice. Bloop. Eight more pieces, which can double into 16 more ingots. Thank you so much for joining me today. Smash like to keep this series going, and click on my dude here to subscribe for more modded Minecraft. If you want to see the full, unedited progress, hit up my Twitch at twitch.tv slash ddanicus. I put the link in the description below for you guys.